In this week's Inside the Community feature, brought to you by Sports Authority, it involves some of the guys getting in the Halloween spirit for a children's hospital visit. Check it out. So what's going on today is uh, we're here at Children's Hospital in Philadelphia. Myself, Trey Burton, Mark Sanchez, and Cody Parkey. Uh, meeting with kids, uh, giving them some uh, Halloween, some passing out some little trick or treats. And uh, you know, it's just a nice thing to do to come here. Obviously, they're in a tough spot, and uh, to be able to kind of cheer them up, uh, you know, it means a lot to us. Nice to meet you. I'm Mark. What are you going to be for Halloween? Batman. So cool. Every chance we get to come here and meet some of these kids and kind of take their mind off everything going on in their lives and, um, you know, give them just a little break. They either talk about football or Halloween costumes like it is today, but uh, a lot of these kids have the same dreams that all the players on our team had growing up, and a lot of them won't be able to realize those dreams because of some of the setbacks that they've had in their life. And so any chance, like I said, we get to encourage them and help them out along the way, I think it's important to do that. The partnership with the Eagles and Little Smiles has been very successful so far. Uh, we're very lucky to have the extra resource and the support from the Eagles Care Foundation. All right, well, what if we sign a card for Sebastian? Having the players here is a pretty phenomenal opportunity for us as a small organization and for the kids that are here. It brings a new and a different kind of smile to the faces of these kids when they see big football players. Number one, dressed in costume, but number two, here to spend time with them. We're really grateful and really excited. So anyway, Caitlin, sorry you couldn't come down to hang out with us, but we just wanted to say hello. We're thinking of you, and... Hey, Caitlin, love you. We love you. You know, it's very uplifting, and knowing that they, they're taking the time from their obviously enormously busy schedule to come and spend the day here during the season to just make these kids feel better. And you see a lot of that here, you know, when you're in a place like this that people just giving their time unconditionally for nothing in return other than to just take a few moments to make these kids forget that they have cancer and feel a little special. It really means a lot to them. It really does.